Can you really clone PSA VD 56.1 ECU? Auto Tuner versus Flex Explained. Hi everyone, this is Hussein, and welcome back to Bob G Motors, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostics, ECU programming, and expert tips. Now, before we dive deep, a quick but crucial disclaimer. This video is purely for educational and informational purposes. Everything you'll see here is meant to guide technicians, learners, and enthusiasts. We strictly follow fair use principles. Any images, clips, or references are solely for review and education. And remember, all trademarks belong to their respective owners. Always follow manufacturer guidelines and your local laws when working on vehicles. Now, here's the real deal. I need your support. Most of you watch without subscribing, and that's okay. But subscribing takes just one click and helps this channel grow massively. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and stick around until the very end. Let's also set a fun challenge. Can we hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within 24 hours? And here's a pro tip. Use the hype button in the comments to boost this video and let everyone know it's worth watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to show your love with a super thanks. It makes a huge difference. All right, here's the question I want to ask you first. Is it truly possible to clone a VD56.1 ECU for Peugeot using an auto tuner programmer? And has anyone ever successfully cloned a Continental VD56.1 ECU 1 colon 1 using Magic Motorsport Flex in boot mode? Let me walk you through what you need to know. So, here's the clue you absolutely need to understand. The VD56.1 ECU contains OTP, or one-time programmable, areas. This means that while some data can be copied, the vehicle often won't start after cloning. In certain cases, the engine might fire up, but the gearbox can throw an immobilizer error. Simply put, a perfect 1 colon 1 clone isn't possible. The only real solution is to use an immobilizer off method via an emulator for a used ECU. Julie Emulator is highly effective for this purpose. Essentially, what you can do is turn off the immobilizer and clone the ECU configuration safely. Both Auto Tuner and Flex can read and write this ECU in boot mode while performing an immobilizer off procedure. They also handle checksum corrections automatically when writing, so you don't need to worry about errors during the process. Let's talk about Magic Motorsport Flex first. To work on this ECU, Boot unlock is required. Flex handles this flawlessly. We've successfully done a mobilizer off on multiple VD56.1 ECUs. For example, a Citroen Berlingo K9 1.2 PureTech Valio VD56.1 had its immobilizer successfully disabled. Flex automatically handles checksum adjustments during this process. It can act as both a master and slave tool when rewriting data making the workflow smooth and reliable. Now, for AutoTuner users, we've done several VD56.1 ECU immobilizer offs using this tool, and everything worked perfectly. Take, for instance, a Continental VD56.1 from a Peugeot 3081.2 L Pure Tech in boot mode. While using AutoTuner with vehicle power alone wasn't sufficient, switching to a battery-powered connection ensured perfect writing. Always remember to use a 10 ampere laboratory power supply during this process. It maintains stable voltage and offers protection against connection errors, which is crucial when working with sensitive ECUs like the VD56.1. And let's not forget Alien Tech KSS3. This tool also supports reading and writing VD56.1 ECUs in boot mode. It's a solid alternative if you're looking for a flexible and reliable programming solution. So what's the takeaway here? Cloning a VD56.1 ECU 1 colon 1 isn't technically possible due to OTP areas. But you could perform an immobilizer off and safely clone the configuration using Flex, Auto Tuner, or KSS3 in boot mode. Always use proper power supply precautions and check some corrections to avoid any unexpected errors. Before we wrap up, let's revisit the question I posed at the start. Is it possible to clone a VD56.1 Peugeot ECU 1 colon 1? The answer is no. 
But using an immobilizer off emulator, you can safely clone configurations and get your project running. My personal opinion, Flex and Auto-Tuner both make this process surprisingly smooth when done correctly, but always respect ECU limitations and follow safety protocols. Here's a fun fact to end on. Did you know that the OTP areas in modern ECUs are designed precisely to prevent unauthorized cloning, making car security more robust than ever? It's a small detail that has a massive impact on modern vehicle security. So what do you think? Have you tried cloning a VD56.1 ECU yourself? Or do you have tips for others? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing your experiences. And once again, don't forget our challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments. Subscribe, like, share, and hype this video to help others learn and grow with Bobji Motors. Keep diagnosing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next one.